Hello, Les from Thailand here and today's video is going to be about how I helped a friend of mine and subscriber uh, because he's having difficulty getting back to Thailand and then I got to thinking how many other people are in the same situation. The story is my, my friend who's married to a, a girl from Myanmar went up to Myanmar to see her family just before Covid struck in Thailand. He went to Myanmar for a three week holiday and he parked his car on Aesop on the border of uh, Thailand and Myanmar and the car has been there now for nine months because his wife is from Myanmar so therefore they have to come back into Thailand and both have to go through quarantine which works out at very very expensive prices. So I'll put a picture on how long it would take to get from here to uh, Mesot and, eight and a half, about eight and a half hours driving to get to there so his car has been parked in a, in a car park a private car park for nine months now and the cost of that to him was going to be 28,000 baht and if the car is going to be stuck there for another six months then the cost just escalates so he asked me whether I could actually go to Mesot and collect the car for him and so me and my friend had a discussion and we, we agreed that um, we would go to Mesot and collect his car for him. So we went to Mesot but because of the distance we stopped in Tak and we stopped in a hotel in Tak and I'll put some photographs up of the hotel we stopped in Tak. Now this hotel is on its on the way to Chiang Mai and I highly recommend this hotel because it's beautiful and the price for a double room was 480 baht for the, for the night including breakfast. Nice location right on the, the main route to Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai um, so it's a good stopover if you're travelling up from Bangkok or Pattaya towards Chiang Mai and you don't want to do the whole whole trip in one day. Tak, uh, it's a very very nice hotel and on the one of the evenings that we stayed there we decided to have um, a meal at the river so English in Tak isn't spoken very much at all so we had trouble ordering food at this restaurant by the river so I called my wife and she she translated for us to the to the guy who was taking the order at this riverside restaurant which is a beautiful restaurant and basically on order was fish 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 and more fish so my wife asked whether they did chicken and basil and then he had to go and ask the chef to see whether they could do chicken and basil and he came back and he said yes they can the menu was only in Thai, everything was in Thai the, the guy who took the orders couldn't speak English neither could any of the staff so with the help of my wife we managed to order the food at this nice restaurant by the, down by the river as the sun went down and again you see some pictures of it, it's very very nice very very nice location down by the river so we went to Mesot the following morning after a good night's sleep in the hotel and we went to the car park where the car was parked right on the border and had a word with the lady who owns the car park and again my wife had to do the translation um, with the lady because nobody spoke English and we, we managed to get the price down from 28,000 baht for nine months to 24,000 baht she knocked a month's rental off and the car was covered in in bird muck and it was covered in dust because it had been stood there for nine months all the, the disc brakes were all uh, rusted so the battery was flat so we managed to jump start the battery got the car started and we'd agreed with the owner that we would call at the nearest garage and get the brakes serviced to make sure that it was okay for the eight and a half hour drive back to Ban Pei. Um, so we, we called at the local garage which was only two kilometers away they serviced the brakes 600 baht and but they couldn't get the car started again because the battery was flat they did a drop test on the battery and then discovered that the battery was kaput anyway so it was more than three years old the battery so I had a word with the owner and for 2400 baht to get the a new battery put on so we didn't have to keep using the jump leads on the way home so for 3000 baht he had a brand new battery and the brakes serviced filled it up with petrol and we drove back to the hotel that we stayed at in Tak 
because the mountain road was a beautiful road and again you'll, you'll see we had a cup of coffee overlooking the mountain views beautiful view and we stayed at Tak again for the other night we were going to go to Chiang Mai for a two-day break but then we found out that Covid had arrived in Chiang Mai because a couple of ladies came across the border didn't go into quarantine and there's a panic on now in, in Chiang Mai with regard to COVID being spread. And she was classed as a super spreader. Uh, she'd had contact with 322 people. She'd been on the plane from Chiang Mai to Bangkok. So there was a threat of lockdown in Chiang Mai uh, because of this COVID. And the girl that had gone to Chiang Rai had spread it to four other people also. So we didn't think it was worth the risk going to Chiang Mai with regard to this COVID even though the, the tourism authority offered people if you got covid in chiang mai they would give you a hundred thousand baht as a as an insurance premium to say that well i'm sorry you got covid there's a hundred thousand baht and because it's coming up to the holiday season chiang mai is scared that covid arrives so they're trying to do anything to encourage tourists to come back but as you can see photographs of, of the car getting service at the the garage this is a 600 baht to get to get the brake service. All the wheels came off, cleaned all the brake pads and the brake shoes and checked everything was okay. So cheap as chips to get done, to get service and why not? So uneventful trip coming back to Ban Pei. As I say, about nine hours it took us all together. A couple of stops for KFC in the service stations on the way home. And as you can see, we safely delivered the car back to the owner's house so now it's in his garage and he's happy with that so he's happy now that he doesn't have to pay 100 baht a day to keep his car in the car park at Mesot because um, he doesn't know how long it's going to be before he even gets back into the country he's, again he's an American uh, he's in Myanmar his wife's from Burma um, so the, the difficulty trying to get back into Thailand it might be two months, it might be six months, it might be another year before he even gets back to Thailand. So I was wondering the questions as to how many other cars are stuck in car parks all around the, the borders or in the airports and people can't get back to Thailand. So it was a short little story but a happy ending with the fact that he's got his car back, he's back safely and as I say he's just waiting for his return to, to Thailand. If you enjoyed this story give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down leave your comments down below subscribing would be nice so until the next video from les living the dream in thailand bye for now